What is up everyone? I'm gonna do my 29 week update with you guys for pregnancy. First of all, I failed my glucose test. So they are thinking I am having gestational diabetes. So I have to go pick a diabetes machine up from a prescription place where you get medicine and prick my finger a lot. Not cool. Not cool. Luckily, a lot of you guys know I love to cook for low glycemic meals. Have I been good about it? No. I have been horrible because I had so many cravings and I didn't listen to myself. So, now I'm suffering. But, yeah, gestational diabetes, guys, is no joke. The first symptom I've had was blurry vision and I was driving and I had to almost pull over because my vision was so weird. Not like it was like I couldn't see. It was just like... You know, if you stare at the sun, I saw this spot in my eye and it would not go away. It was bugging me. Not bad to like affect my driving, just enough to annoy the crap out of me. Luckily that went away later, but it still bugged me. And then I had a headache and then I had another headache. And then one day I woke up with a headache. It's whenever I don't eat, then I start getting a headache. It's not cool. And then I've been feeling very tired. Oh my goodness. I start talking about it and then I yawn. Coincidence. But yeah, I've been feeling very tired. I do work, so I don't know if it's because I'm working or what. But I'm so tired. A lot. But other than that, I'm putting on some weight and baby's getting so big, so big. I'm like, how do you even have all that room in there? Baby is super active. Baby loves to wake mama up in the night. I love you though, little baby. I love my little baby, but this baby loves to wake me up right now a lot and kick 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 and the baby will get the little foot move it down a little kick upwards and then the head is down last time I checked at the doctors and baby would head bang up my bladder super fun but we have a really good connection because I talk to my baby, I sing to my baby, and I have so much love for my child. It's crazy. Baby's not even here yet and I have so much love. No guys, I'm not telling you the gender still. I'm gonna make you wait for birth. For the gender. That's what I'm gonna do. But other than that, guys, I guess I'll keep you updated with the whole gestational diabetes thing and see what's next for me. All I know is I have to prick my finger and I don't like needles. It's not a good thing. It just doesn't feel good. And no, mm -mm. not cool. But um, that's my update for this week. We'll see how it goes. It's one of those machines you bring home you have to do it four times a day. Four times a day. And prick, prick. And then in the morning, I gotta do it. So when I do do it, when I get my machine, I will film it. I will show you what I'm dealing with. But it's a lot. It's a lot doing this by myself. It's a lot. Um, I don't really have a spouse to support me um, with the pregnancy like a lot of other people do. So it's been difficult dealing with this on my own, but I'm a very independent woman. I can manage, I can do it. 
but what worries me the most is going into labor and not having that spouse support. But it's okay. I'll be good. But yeah, thank you guys for my update. For listening to my update. Oh my gosh, pregnant brain is like so bad. Um, I will see you guys next time with an update. Love you all so much. Bye-bye.